I'm from Hopkinton, Massachusetts. New York. Rockville, Maryland. Attorneys, businessmen, and more have found themselves in an unfamiliar place. Quiet, still, and to them, in the middle of nowhere. The sky goes on forever. It's such a wonderful area, and it's such a difference from what I'm used to seeing, uh, you know, coming from a relatively large uh, uh, urban area. Hey, David. How you doing? The group guided by renowned photographer Tillman Crane was challenged to challenge themselves, see what isn't seen, and capture their interpretation of a place long forgotten. Everybody shoots very differently, uh, and being able to come here and watch people uh, through their creative process actually opens up my eyes. Photography allows me to explore a world that most people don't see. I have an affinity to old structures, the grain in the wood, the peeling paint from the windows, the way the light hits the corners inside and bounces around, sometimes through glass, sometimes not through glass. So this is a very big challenge. It is something I get to turn off uh, one part of my brain and exercise a different type. Um, it's fun to do something that's completely different than the rest of my life. With each unique perspective also comes preference in the camera and in the format. The latest high resolution digitals, which the creative process continues on the computer, to cameras that date more closely to the time of the setting that they're shooting. This is a five by seven view camera. I may go out for five hours to shoot and may shoot half a dozen photographs. That's it, because a lot of it's contemplative. A lot of it's thinking about how you're going to do it, what you're trying to show, and what you want that final result to look like. For a full week, each aspect of the different locations are explored. Ironically enough, though, the photographers find that somehow the serenity and the simplicity of the area gets imprinted on themselves. You drive down the road, you walk down the road, you pass people you've never seen before and everybody waves, and you find yourself waving back. I'm not used to that. It's a great thing. It really is. And what becomes of all of the photographs? The pictures are taken for pleasure. Some wind up on websites and others hanging on a wall. But it's the experience and the camaraderie that keeps people interested in the nowhere setting in the middle of North Dakota. Near Rugby, Sean Sipma, KX News.